Hi, I'm Michelle Sterling for Friends of Science Society. When Steve Gorham spoke at our May 2017 event, he spent some time reviewing the costs of climate change policies, like renewables, that he says are terribly expensive and inefficient. And that is the issue. There are tremendous costs that people bear because of these energy and climate laws. Um, people, um, a couple examples, in the United States we have, a re we have renewable portfolio standards laws in more than 25 states, which say that our utilities must buy an increasing amount of renewable energy or electricity from renewable sources or be fined. And so consumers pay for that in two ways. One is their tax dollars are taken and they go to, to uh, wind and solar companies and then their electricity rates go up. I asked him how do wind farms affect power prices in the U.S.? I did a little analysis of the top 12 wind states in the United States. From 2008 to 2015, U.S. electricity rates only went up 4.8 percent in eight years, very small amount. But nine of the 12 wind states had rises from like 12 to uh, uh, 35 percent or so. So the, when you install wind, you have to build transmission lines to remote areas, and so your electrical prices go up. Europe embarked on aggressive climate change policies almost 20 years ago. What about European prices? Europe has uh, tremendous uh, costs of renewables. Um, between uh, 2000 and 2015, uh, Europe's demand for electricity went up about 26 percent, but they built 70 percent more capacity and most of that was uh, renewables. And so it's depressed electricity prices, but at the same time, the consumer is paying for all these subsidies, so their prices are very high. Uh, the, the price of uh, electricity in Spain is three times what it is in Canada, and in Denmark and Germany, it's four times the Canadian price. And so now Europe is cutting back. Uh, Europe has stopped investing in renewables. It's down 50% from the peak in 2011. Uh, employment is down in renewables in, in Europe, and they just can't afford the subsidies. They can't afford it anymore. Adding wind farms to the grid often affects the reliability of power supply. In South Australia, we've had two wide area blackouts in the last six months. Um, a a uh, electric grid which failed used to be the mark of a developing nation. Now it's the mark of a nation that puts in a lot of renewable energy. <laughs> so. Uh, um, you know, the results are tangible and real and they're impacting citizens. And so we need to get back to sensible energy and, and climate policy. Going from reliable, affordable power to expensive, intermittent power that disrupts a stable supply can be disastrous for society. We have a number of reports on coal phase-out, especially related to Alberta, and many discussion pieces on our blog related to the relative costs of renewable energy. Join Friends of Science. Donate to our cause of bringing common sense and full cost-benefit analysis to climate change public policy. For Friends of Science, I'm Michelle Sterling.